Hello and welcome hey. to The Madhouse, episode 19. I'm your host, Ultimus 53, as always, and joining me this week is... Stephen Kovakovic, also known as Steve Kovakovic. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, uh, it'll, it's just uh, me and Steve here, because yep. uh, we, we're trying to get some people um, that, to be in this pod- episode of the podcast, but a lot of our friends are uh, very busy um, this time of summer. Long story short. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's summer, you know, we're, this, this podcast is going to be... It's gonna start gonna start to be difficult to do, but we're gonna I'm gonna try to do it. Well, it's too bad for them because we have all these amazing snacks. Oh yeah, so, uh, <laughs> we do have snacks around right here, so you might hear us uh, munching. So don't mind that. Um, like that. Anyway, this week we're gonna talk about a game that I have gone back to Let's Plays again and again and again, oh. and they announced a new or he announced Scott Cawthon announced a new uh, installment in the franchise, and that is. Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, this is a horror franchise. Um, if you don't know, those of you who are big, who are novices in the PC gaming world, who don't know anything about the game, you should know. If you're even listening to this episode, you should know what it is. It is a uh, point-and-click horror franchise that is centered around a restaurant, kind of a rip-off of, of Chuck E. Cheese's in a way, called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Now, there are four installments in the franchise, all been made by the same guy, Scott Cawthon. And Technically yeah. five. Well, of, uh, there's a movie, yeah. The Five Nights at Freddy's World. Well, there's there's the there's there's three or no, there's four of them plus a mini game plus a little RPG thingy or massively multiplayer online game. Five Nights at Freddy's World. Yeah, and then there's the uh, there's the sister location which we'll get into later. Um, but anyway, so this this is a I, I mean. Like I said before, I don't think I and I, I haven't said this before, but uh, I don't think that it's that scary. It is not a scary game. It is a startling game. It's surprising when I, when I get a storm scare. It's like, Ugh, but I I get you know. Yeah. Um, but because they're cartoony. Yeah. They're very yeah. cartoony, so yeah. they're not not scary. They're just um, scary. but one thing to know is that uh, Scott Cawthon, who uh, made and developed the game, he actually um, voices uh the film guy in the first three installments. So in the first two mo- installments, he sounds relatively the same if you hear the um, the, the voicemail he re- pre-records. The, the third game, he sounds like total casual, like a surfer dude. He's like, we, we have, this is going to be so much, uh, much more interesting this time. Yeah, cool. Like that kind of, like, kind of like casual voice. Like he yeah. kind of sounds, I mean, he, he sounds sound different because he's not supposed to be the same guy. Because in the first game, uh, we play, I think, the fifth night or something, uh, or the, no, the fourth night. You get to the fourth night, and, um, he'll talk about, um, the, about someone getting, or t- something new happening with animatronics, and then, um, what will happen is if, um, I think it's like, oh, sorry. sorry, that was a, that was a, you opening cookies. Um, I think there, well, oh, yeah, there was, I think there was pretty much, pretty sure there's like a, a thing where he'll say, I was wondering what was in those, what was in the little, little heads of theirs, and then, um, and then he hears the Freddy music, which is like, don't, don't, do do I, I can't even remember how it goes. Yeah. Um, but, do you give your phone? What? So we can play it for them? We can get the idea Copyright, of what Copyright, dude. We'll put, in the co- we'll put it in the description. I th- I'll, I'll make sure that happens. What do you want me to look up? Look up with your phone the, uh, Freddy's or Freddy's Freddy theme. Mm. The Freddy theme. Just a little bit of it. First game? Yes. Okay. It's only the first game. <laughs> Remember, it's only the first game, so, you know. Freddy song? Yeah. Just the Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. thing. Yeah. Right. Music box, yeah. Not yeah. So, so this is how it goes. When you are trapped and you have no power left. Right there, it goes, and then you get a, uh, I mean, sometimes if you're lucky, it'll go 5 a.m. in the night. I've seen a lot of left toys go, yes, 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 yes. Like, they'll freak out and everything. Because, mm-hmm. I, I think, uh, Jack Sedgwick and Markiplier, who played this game before, and they hit, we hear that, they, uh, yeah, they freak out, and they start going, 
They, when they hear through the 5 a.m. thing, they're like, oh my gosh, I did it. Um, but there's a lot of history behind this game. So the first game um, was just a restaurant. Um, it's just the, um, the fact that the story goes, if you don't, I think I've told you this before, um, but the story goes that it's a restaurant based on Chuck E. Cheese, like I said before, and the idea is that um, it's a magical place for what grown-ups and kids alike. Uh, we're, we're trying to see and fun to play, it, it, you know. Yeah. Um, and then he's like, "Oh, it's not so bad." But the, I do. I, I should warn you that the, the animatronics didn't want to um, be quirky at night. But he, does he blame them? No, because he goes and he goes on to say, like, uh, if I was if I was for to sing the same twenty stupid twenty uh, st same stupid songs for twenty years and I never got bad, I'll probably get rid of night too. No, that there is where I'm like. Wait, so they're forcing the animatronics to sing the same songs for 20 years straight. How <laughs> how did that work? I don't know. That's like, I wouldn't... Imagine no. having the same, the, do the same songs for 20 years and that's a job. That would be terrible. <laughs> Just ghosts. Even though they're a robot. I mean, come on. But, uh... And then, like, uh... And then he goes on to say, uh... Uh... That... I think it's like uh, now for now. Uh, in terms of your safety, the only real risk, if any, is that the night watch is that your job as a night watchman. Is if any, is if is if the animatronics uh, they have fantasy after hours, they'll probably not recognize you as a person. That's what he says. And then he says the problem recognize you as a as a character without a mask or an endoskeleton without a mask without a costume on. And then he's like. Um, and I wouldn't be so bad. And then stuffing, and they will he'll go on to say like, uh, they'll probably decide to forcefully stuff you into a Freddy Fazbear suit. Okay, right there I'm like, wait, why is specifically a Freddy Fazbear suit? There's already a Freddy. <laughs> why, why would they? Why would he say that? Like, like, so he's saying it's the Freddy Fazbear suit that they can, you can get stuffed into, but there's already a Freddy who's going to attack you. That didn't make any sense. So if that happens, then there's two Freddies. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really confusing. Freddy and Fred. <laughs> I guess. I mean, like, already Golden Freddy. I mean, he's a... He's a... And actually, a theory behind that is that the, uh... Because the, there's a... There's oh! A, yeah. Freddy was a Y, and Freddy was an IE. <laughs> because there's a theory that, uh... That Golden Freddy is actually the the phone call, the call guy, because in the fourth night, he's like, uh... And then so he, you hear the song, and then he's like, oh, no. And then you hear this... Long Moon, I found out the Long Moon is actually from Chica, because I saw a video ab about that, where it was a rec the, there was this guy recreating the scene from that thing, from that um, moment in the the phone guy call. You can't even see it because it's not visual. But he he's like, oh no, and then, and then you're like, you're like and then you, ha you hear, uh, and, then you, and then you have, and then he's gone. And then he's gone. So... So he it's turned into Golden Freddy. Well, that's a theory. There are other theories that uh, that he's actually Springtrap oh. from, from the third game. And Springtrap is actually um, one of the got one of the amateur one of the. Uh, well, he's actually not. Re I don't think he's real because not all the animatronics in uh, the third game are real. They're all in hallucinations. What? All the animatronics are hallucinations. What are hallucinations? Animatronics, like like he'll he'll. The casual version of the phone guy will, will say like, uh, if you don't let the ventilation stay steady, then then you'll start seeing cra seeing some crazy stuff. And those crazy stuff are the hallucinations of animatronics that they won't kill you, but they'll definitely like freak you out and like kind of like go woo like that. You'll end up going like <sighs> like start breathing heavily and stuff like that. What, what do you think? You think the animatronics are all hallucinations? Well, at least some of them are. I mean, that's what he says in the uh, the thing. He says that. If you don't keep the ventilation um, going, then you're going to start seeing some crazy stuff. Like, for example, animatronics. Like, I think one of them is Balloon Boy, and one of them is Springtrap, which is a new one. Um, and actually, there's a theory that Springtrap is the one responsible for the bite of '87, because in um, in the in the very in the, not a night one, the very first night, you hear the phone guy go, go, you guys say, "Yeah, we used to let them walk around during the during the day too," but then there was a bite of '87, and it's it's amazing how the human body can survive without the frontal lobe. That's what he says. That's exactly what he says. And and there's a, I saw a theory about that of, of because I mean yeah the demented version of Bonnie in the second game uh, with, with his face out and the teeth showing with all the like the endoskeleton you can see the endoskeleton 
There's a theory about about um, that Barney the, the Barney caused the Battle of '87, and hence getting it's a uh, his or his. I guess you can interchange them. His uh, face ripped out or eyes, or whatever. Um, but there's also a theory that Springtrap is the one who did it because he looks like all ripped up and torn and and just kind of like not very in condition at all. I mean, like he's the only well, one. What happened in 1987? Well, goddamn you, Ronald Reagan! <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, like, crazy how this can happen. Um, you know, basically blaming Ronald Reagan is the 80s well, one for blaming No, because this is fictional. Obama. This is fictional. What? This is fictional. I know, I know. So, it's not real. It's a game. But it's a really interesting fact that, that I mean, yeah, Bonnie did, got, his face is, like, gone in the second game, practically. But Spring Kip also has, is all, like, you know, torn up and stuff. So he... I mean, I'm not saying he is the reason, or it, I can't even, I don't even know if it's a, it's a gender, um, but he could, it could be the reason behind the Bible 87, but, um, because I actually saw a video on, uh, on if Fox was got one behind it, and it was a thing about, it was a, I th I'm pretty sure it was animated using the Team Fortress engine, because there was characters from Team Fortress that were in it, and it was really clearly animated, animated, so I can't talk today. <laughs> Animated. Um, it was really good because this, this girl, uh, she was going on to missing with Foxy, which is a pirate. Yeah, po pi the Foxy the pirate, which is, resembles a fox with an eye patch and um, I think metal legs is that it? Yeah, metal legs. Um, it's the one a character in the first game that actually go that actually um, hangs out in Pirates Co, which is closed off because probably of I'm guessing the reason people are are theorizing because the. Uh, Pirates Cove is closed off. It's because of Bite of 87. And there, and there's also there's several um, like witness um, possible victim that, or victim widow persons who could be responsible for the Bite of 87. Could be Bonnie. Could be Springtrap. Could be uh, Atari. No. <laughs> it could be Foxy. Like uh, the or video Nintendo. No. <laughs> no. It could be Foxy because um, the reason why I mean there's a, it, cause it could be a reason why why Pirates Cove is closed off and because you get to, you know, like, there's points when you, in the game, in the first game, where you flip out, where you flip out, and and then, um, and there's a, there also a theory that he, the, the reason why he does that is so he can run down the hall and check on you, and then he screams at you because he's a malfunction, and he's a, he's a robot, and, you know, animatronics have malfunctions in time, and that's what they do, and they scream at you, I don't know, uh, but theory, uh, that he was there to help, he just, you know, checking down you, because, I mean, that Foxy in the first game is the hardest is the hardest I'm trying to actually beat because he'll run down the hall like this, or like I can't even do the sound effect, but uh, but he'll do that and then he'll go he'll and then you have to if you don't get there in time, um, if you don't close the door in time, he'll go like this and then it'll and it'll start yelling or screaming, yeah, screaming. Um, because the video I saw was a little girl um, like playing with Foxy and um, and the security guy um, who was talking to her mother was saying like, "Hey kids, t t t or hey, tell your daughter to get off the, off Foxy. Don't get close to him." And then he's like, and then she's like, "No, it's fine. He, he, she's not bothering him or something like that." And then the next thing that happened was that yeah, um, so the little girl decides to play more Foxy and then. Like all the modern hacks do, they malfunction and <laughs> chomp, and then you and then she collapses on the floor in a pool of blood, and that's the story behind it. Is that Foxy is one of the is what is the is the animatronic responsible for the bite of '87, um, causing the animatronic to be able to walk around during the day anymore? But that's just a theory. There are many theories. Uh, cool. What do you think? Do you have any ideas? What? Do you have any ideas for what, who could have done it? I've given several ideas, but. Saddam Hussein. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, he was an um, uh, Iraq he, dictator he is in not, the 80s. But he's human. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about animatronics here. Yeah, yeah. Who can he, he hacked the, uh, the computer network from back in the 80s. He hacked into government networks. And then he hacked into the animatronic. And he was like, I will use these to destroy the United States. Lots of and the, take um, over with my oppression. <laughs> I th I, there's also, um, I don't know. <laughs> there's also a theory that in the second er, yeah no the second game, Marionette, who's the really really creepy uh, animatronic um, that comes out of you if once Blue Boys are. Actually, I think the person responsible for it is um, Purple Guy. 
Oh yeah, it's a theory of that too, but um, but there's a, the, the one who um, if you look in one of the mini games, you look outside, a car pulls up, and um, yeah, I know, a purple guy got this out, and he kills um, a child that's out there. It's really creepy though. That, that's some parts of the Friday Night that are really creepy. Um, but yeah, anyway, so um, so. And Marionette is the one character who, uh, if you don't, if once you see Bloom Boy, even if you're wearing the Freddy mask, um, in some game, um, if you see him and you, even when you're wearing the Freddy mask, Marionette will come out and um, attack you and cause you to end, cause your game to end. Which sucks. Uh, but he, there's also a theory. There's a theory is that uh, Marionette could be the one responsible for causing um, the body of '87, like causing the the animatronics to malfunction. Or it could be Golden Freddy, who who uh, who is the one who uh, who did it. Because in the, sec in the second game, he the, the second game, phone, the phone guy has a call. He's like, "What are you still doing here?" So, like, um, the place is closed down. So somebody still like somebody stole a, 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 a stole a suit. It was a yellow. Is a yellow one. Oh no! What? I found Five Nights at Freddy's hand in um, art. Oh no! It's basically a strip club thing where Foxy is on a pole. My God. And he's like, hey, Bonnie. And Bonnie's like, oh my God, yes! And I'm like, okay. No. <laughs> no. We're not talking about that kind of thing. Well, I'm uh, talking about fan pictures. Anyway, so, so yeah. Um, it's cancerous. Because the guy in the, in the um, he's like, he, and he's like, he's like um, Tony stole, a, stole a, a suit, a yellow one. Um, and that, and that could be, and actually that could be where, uh, where, uh, phone guy it actually is because he he um because in the second game he's the same it's the same uh guy but it, there's also a theory that uh Five Nights at Freddy's two could be a prequel to Five Nights at Freddy's. Hence because the check you get at the end of the game is dated for uh November nineteen eighty seven. Hence eighty seven. Get it? Nineteen eighty seven, yeah. Yeah the check is is dated for that um uh, date. But uh yeah. So there's a lot of it. Um, so in the first game, let me go back to the first game. So in the first game, like I said before, uh, it's you only have four animatronics that you're facing up against, off against, and you also you also get uh, you also get doors to protect yourself, except they use power. So you if you yeah. use doors, uh, only use the, yeah, and the phone guy warns you to only use them when they're absolutely necessary. You gotta consider because you gotta consider power. Um. Oh, so. I found a picture. It's my biggest fan. Get it, fan? Oh, no, God. the fan from the office. That just from oh that God. office room. Where yeah, Eddie's I know. Spinning. So yeah, um, <laughs> I, I believe PewDiePie made that joke or oh, something. Yeah. Who was it? Oh, I made that joke. You're like, oh, hey, look, it's my biggest fan. And so I don't know. Fan. I haven't seen the let's play on that. Um, from the, from the channel. But um, so. Anyway, so yeah, there uh, you, you're, you're the door. You have uh, that, the phone guy t says that you have uh, you have X to do to to two doors on to, on one opposite side ends of the room and lights. But he you only use you only use the doors when, when you actually because the thing the moments in the in the first game that I was having trouble with um, or at least or kind of got me because I did play the first game um, and that is uh, when you see uh, there, I mean the game itself has. Some pretty horrific uh, moments in the game, like when the first time you see Bonnie up against the up against the uh, the first camera in the storage room, he's like he's like a, he's like and it's like he's like oh my god that's that's terrifying. And there's also another one where um Ch 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 Chicky whatever her name is. Oh yeah, she's like she's like she's just like she's just <laughs> looking she's just looking up there like or or like or like or like, or like there's another that one where it's like the one like, that the one when Chica is like looking like it's like it's like and there's another like, one where they're looking and they're just like seriously seriously those are really creepy they're like they're like, they're like but the question is how Who does is Chica no. have how does Chica have teeth no chickens don't have teeth so when do chickens have teeth that doesn't make sense I don't, I don't understand that. not just that but two pairs of teeth I mean seriously that doesn't make sense. Uh, you don't put teeth in chicken. That doesn't make sense. I mean, I get, you know, putting teeth in a rabbit or a, a bear, but teeth in a chicken, that doesn't make any sense. 
Uh, yeah. There are some really uh, rare things. Actually, there's a in the first game there's an Easter egg. I, mean, I guess it's an Easter egg um, where you can if you there's a the certain uh, time of the uh, certain hour um, if tri you can trigger this to trigger Golden Freddy to appear. Uh, but if you look in one of the in the store in the the left in one of the left rooms, I think it's the west west hall or something like that. Um, if you look at there, um, yeah. it's, the one, it's the room where it's the closest room you see Bonnie because because the room you see Bonnie and you can't even see it. It's like all shattered. The one the, the west hall where you see Bonnie for the first time, like all like full. You can see see him like full. You can hardly see him, but you can see him. And there's another room where he appears and he's like he's more you know visible. But with that, you, there's actually a uh, a poster that has a picture of Golden Freddy, and if you look that for long enough, then <laughs> you'll be able to. He's middle fingering the camera. Oh, um, so yeah, uh, if you look, if you look at that, it, then you'll you go out, then you'll you automatically trigger your Golden Freddy to come, and then of course when that when that happens, then you actually are exit out of the game because that's what happens with Golden Freddy is you are exit out of the game. But there's so many things about about the first game that were good. Um, not that you mentioned it, not the fact that it was crazy, but like because you got to get your power and, and you have to like because um, if one of the, if one of the animatronics comes by, usually Bonnie first is usually the first one that comes. Um, look, you look the light and then you'll see him. You'll go. <laughs> I can't even I can't I cannot imitate the noise unfortunately, but I know how it goes. Yeah. Um, but you when you close the door and then um, also Cheek is there too. And then one thing that's really crazy and I, I know this. The reason why this doing this is because it's a, a glitch in the because the, 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 all the man on the tracks are malfunctioning, and there's a point in the in the in the game where you can see um, for the first time you can just see them clearly enough, and they're like they're like this, they're like they're like, <laughs> like they're like their heads twitching and everything. It's really crazy. Um, so I just I just found that really creepy. It's it's just I mean it's creepy but not scary at all. I mean I don't think it's creepy. Do you think it's creepy? Yeah, sure. I, I don't know. Not really. I, I kind of think it's just meh. Meh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, the the first game, um, there's actually an Easter egg in it. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> there's actually an Easter egg in it where, uh, once you, be, once you finally beat the game, because it's really hard to beat the game, and you get all these messages from the phone guy who's actually, I love the phone guy because I've actually been able to imitate his voice. Um, I can't do it all the time because that's a lot of things to do, but, I can do pretty well at it, um, but there's an Easter egg in the very end of the game. You beat it, and uh, because there's because there's a mention of the bite of eighty-seven. You but damn, yeah, these goats are creepy. God, I have like no eyes. <laughs> but if you uh, if you load the game uh, um, for custom no, which is the seventh night, you put in one for Freddy, nine for Bonnie, um, eight for Chica, and seven for Foxy, which is 1987, which is the, the uh, year that the events of the Bite of 87 took place, and then you load it, it'll crash. It'll just, yeah. it'll just crash. Why? Who knows? There's absolutely no, um, I don't know why it does that, but there's a theory that there's a reason behind it is because, of, I mean, obviously it was the Bite of 87, so, you know, that is part of the events of the game, but I have no idea why it, there's a that is a thing, but it is a thing, and it's pretty crazy. Uh, and for some reason, I got this, the core line thing. <laughs> oh my god. Some ghost. That is ridiculous. <laughs> god. So, uh, actual. What? Oh, come on, don't even go there. Yes. I'm going there with the fan art. That's how bad it is. Oh my Steve god. is uh, actually looking at a little thing on his phone that has to do with his podcast. Uh, but actually, I mean, okay. Do you really want me to do the entire, to do most of the phone guy thing? Phone guy. I can do the phone guy. We're talking so, about phone guy. I see it goes somewhere along the lines of, hello, hello. Uh, here I'm. Hello. I'm. I'm. I'm I just want to record a message for you to get you settled on your first night. Now I can. I, I know it can be a little while on one, but I'm here to tell you, there's nothing to worry about. Okay, stop right right there. Nothing to worry about. Now, do I believe? Do, uh, would someone believe that if they were given that those things? If you're in a haunted, a haunted restaurant, would them trying to kill you? <laughs> no, but you don't know that when you first start. No, but like seriously, it's called Five Nights at Freddy's. That sounds like a really 
That sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> and he said like, there's nothing to worry about. No, there's everything to worry about. You're gonna, you're gonna. No, get... he, he's just talking about the actual restaurant. You're pretending to be someone who that restaurant just hired. Well, I know, but still, it's just ridiculous that he's like, uh, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, I know that the animatronics can get a little uh, uh, quirky at night, but, but you know, I've already checked before. Um, um, and then he says, uh, you'll do fine. Now, I, I, there's a legal thing I have to read. It's, it, um, I think, I, it's something for the company I have to read. It's, a little, it's not legal, you know. And then he, and then he says, uh, look at a Freddy Fazbear pizza, a, a magical place for, with, for kids and girls life, life where magic, where fantasy and fun come to life. Freddy, uh, I don't know, Fazbear and Timmy is not responsible for it. Whatever, I can't even remember actually. I can't even remember half of it. It's really complicated. Um, and then he says, um, now that might seem bad, I know, but really there's something to worry about. You'll be, uh, you'll be fine. And I, the amateurs do get go a quirky at night. But do I blame them? No. If I was forced to say the same 20, uh, same, I think I messed up there, but same, uh, specific stupid songs for 20 years and I already get a, a bath, I mean, probably be your cook, it'll be at night too. So just, so just remember these characters hold a special place in the heart of children that we need to show them a little respect. RESPECT! I'm not doing respect. They're gonna, they're gonna eat. They're gonna eat my face. <laughs> Literally, that's what they're doing. Yeah. It's like if I got a message and saying, you just show them a little respect. You would you show them respect if they were gonna go eat, go to go murder you? <laughs> yeah, I guess no, that. I would not do that. And if they're gonna, if they I got animatronics, they're gonna murder me. I would probably not show them any respect at all. That's just like, no, I wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> but and then he says, uh. And then uh, I think it's like uh, I'm, trying to, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember here. Uh, and then now uh, actually I think I told you it's, it's a it says these these, trying, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and you need to show them a little respect. Yeah. All right, okay. Now just be aware, please be just be aware of these characters. The the animatronics do tend to wander a bit. It's something uh, it, it's something about their. Uh, the silver locking down, um, locking up if they get, if they got shut, turned off for too long. Um, actually, no, I think it's, uh, uh, no, I just tend to, uh, now, uh, I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm not remembering half of this stuff, but I am, it's hard to remember this. Um, so anyway, um, and I think it's like, uh, now, now, uh, now be aware of the characters do tend to wander a bit. It's something about their servers locking up when, if the two lights are off for too long. Um, and then he says, uh, now, now, for your sa for your safety, if any, is that the characters, if they happen to see after hours, they'll probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll probably recognize you as the end of the uh, costume. Now, since that's, now, if they're able to see your Freddy Fazbear pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Now, yeah. that sounds really uncomfortable. <laughs> I would want to be that. No, it wouldn't be terrible to do. Um, How are they still open? Open what? Oh, because of that. I don't know. That's the problem. I like if if, if you had animatronics that were were malfunctioning and, and going to to grown ups and like murdering them and putting them and stuffing them into like little you know suits of uh, mechanical suits, then that would probably be a reason to shut down the entire restaurant because that would be terrible. <laughs> uh, considering it's a horror game. Uh, but anyway, um, and then now that w and they said now that wouldn't be so bad if they if the assistants themselves weren't filled with with uh, with animatronic with uh, with cross beams wires and animatronic devices. I don't even I don't even know what cross beams are. I'm guessing that's some kind of like thing where you protect the situation. I don't know. Uh, and then it's, and then he says uh, now you and then you can imagine so you can imagine having your for having your having your having your your face pressed inside of the it could be it could leave to some discomfort and death, which is kind of unfortunate because that's like, yeah, we what do you expect for a horror game? <laughs> um, and then uh, let's see, um, and then yeah. he says, yeah, they don't tell you this stuff about, um when you first sign up. Okay, that's right there. That's where I'm like, okay, why would they not tell you anything when you first sign up? That would be that's like the first thing they, that a company should if you're getting a, if you're getting a job for a night watchman for a restaurant. That's sells pizza and stuff like that. They probably need to. They 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 always need to tell you this stuff because it's not ha if it's like not happen if they don't don't tell you don't you don't know what to expect. It's like there's some parts of this game that I just don't understand why they don't tell you. <laughs> yep.
So, and then he's like, uh, and then he goes on to say, uh, anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Um, should, uh, first, first I should be a breeze. <coughs> talk to you soon. Um, and remember to close the doors. Absolutely, not, uh, and he's like, uh, well, close the doors. Absolutely, not, uh, when, only when I was really in the sense of power and tons of cameras. That's the, that's the first night. And then he comes back and, and, um. Oh, no. Would you quit showing me that stuff? <laughs> Oh no! I'm not gonna share that to the podcast. I don't think anyone wants to hear that. Boops! <laughs> That's all I have to say. No. <laughs> I know this is a mature podcast, but I'm not really in the mood for that. Oh come. So yeah. Anyway, the first game is actually really challenging. It really is. Have you you played the first game, right? No. Well, the first game is really challenging. I'm actually trying to make a. Uh, I, I was trying to make a family game, but I kind of gave up on it. But the first game is really challenging. It like really is. And there's a lot, a lot of the lore about it. Um, I mean, it's a really cool game. The second game actually has got him. Uh, the second game actually has got him my favorite, just because of how creepy it is. You know what I mean? What you're saying? I'm saying the second game, Five Nights Five Nights at Freddy's Two. Oh. So that's a game that came out a few months after the first game. Incredibly oh. ridi- ridiculous the amount of time it took for uh, Scott Compton to release the second game, um, which actually takes place before the first game. Um, it doesn't sound like it should, but it does. It actually takes place before the first game. Because yep. the check you get is dated, um, I don't know what day in November, but it takes take place, it, you get the check is, is 11, which is the 11th month of the year, which is November, which is the 11th month of the year. Uh, and that, uh, is, uh, November 1987, which is the same year that the final week said happened. So, obviously, um... 87. They're obviously, they're obviously the better way to say months have taking place during the time you're playing the game. When? I don't know. I mean, obviously, since you're playing at night, so you don't know any of the stuff that goes on, because, well, you're playing during the night, so you don't know anything that's going on in the day, so you, you know. I mean, one thing I would, let, I would like to have them for um, the series is they um, they make the, uh, another, I hope, the, uh, not they, him, I hope Scott Cawthorn makes a uh, version, a, uh, a version of Five Nights at Freddy's that takes place, or five days at Freddy's, <laughs> but he wasn't saying the day, because uh, at that point we called Five Days at Freddy's, right? Five yeah. days at Freddy's, because days and nights, you know. That's nice. Uh, but the second game was actually my favorite game, because I've seen a lot of gameplay. It is really creepy. Bec- I mean, even, even the, uh, even the music itself, like when you're playing in the background, when you're looking at the cameras, that music is just so creepy. Oh my god, it's it's yeah. terrifying. It really is. Like it really, it really had a packed punch in ter- when when it comes to terrifying. Um, but but the uh, the phone, the phone guy actually sounds exactly the same as he did in the first game, and he's and then he opens with a, "Hello, and welcome to your to your new summer job at the new improved." So apparently, when he says that, he says new improved. I mean, that must mean that. It's better than the first one because the first one had the whole bad thing happen. But the, um, so the other thing, the other point I'm bringing up is the fact that if it's new to improve, that must mean it's not a it's not a prequel, right? Because right. if he says if the check is eight hundred seven, but but the phone guy says it's new improved, that's still a sequel. So yeah. I don't really understand that. Like, do you think that? What do you, what do you think on that? I think it's okay. I guess. I mean, honestly, if you say you need to improve that, that must mean that it's, uh... It must be changes to it. I mean, what else do you think? What what, what else do you expect for a, rest, for a restaurant like that? I mean, it's supposed to be a sequel, but if you say it's to improve, that must mean it, it's a sequel. But if the check is dated in 27, that must mean it's, it's you know, they didn't, it's a, a prequel. But I don't really understand that. It's just confusing to me. Yep. But anyway, the, so the second game... Um, is, in my opinion, a prequel because it, it truly is a prequel. Um, th- there's 11 animatronics. There's no doors. So, actually, let's count the, let's count the animatronics. Stevie? Or Steve? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, you remember the animatronics, you did the uh, 11 animatronics in the Sun game, right? Yeah, I know what they are. So you got Freddy, or old Freddy, old Bonnie, old Chica. Wait, what? That's, okay. the, that's three of them. Then you got the new versions of those, of those characters, Toy Freddy, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica. That's six of them. And then you got you got and then you got Foxy, and then you got Mangle, 
Mingle's actually a female version of Oxy. Oh my god, I'm reading an Encyclopedia Dramatica version of um, the Five Nights of Fighting Game. Basically, making wow. Marvick really funny. Um, wow. <laughs> this is great. This is great. How to play the game. Night one. Listen to that nerd who had the job before you explain how to get through it all. My He'll god. give you a history of pedophile paradise and all the tricks to survive. It's simple. Close door when you feel threatened. Open if you don't. Check monitor. Look more for any of the animatronics trying to murder you. Oh, and you also have limited power. <laughs> the door is monitored during the power clicker. The nerd dies on the fourth night. Repeat the same process as night one, nerd. Oh, and don't forget to pick up their paycheck. You got only $120 for risking your life guarding this place. Good game! N night... Um, night yeah. six. Um, the animatronics are, excuse me, now dead than usual, and you don't have that baggage calling you. Well, Horde, you risked your life for the six nights in a row. Your reward, your reward is overtime pay of only fifty cents an employee of the month. You must feel good getting a little pay and praise for doing nothing but sitting in an office all night begging to be killed. <laughs> night seven, Baking. custom mode. Try beating the game with 20, 20, 20, 20. It's just so hard. Oh my god, I've seen that before. That's that's like, that's something that where, where I did not understand. Like, I saw a couple of people do it. Markiplier did it, and then, actually, Jack said that guy said he wouldn't do it, and then he knew Markiplier would do it, and I thought Markiplier did it. It was, it was so hard. I mean, I mean, I think that wasn't, I was not playing, but it looked really intensely hard. Like, seriously, it was really hard. Like, like, it was just, within 20 seconds you get an animatronic. It's that fast. But anyway, so yeah, so I named I named uh, I named uh, six, I need, no, so it's, uh, let me try, let me start again. Uh, so old Freddy, old Bonnie, old Chica, yeah. old. Uh, I love how he calls um bum guy <laughs> and faggot. That's really funny. Uh, to toy Freddy, toy Bonnie, toy Chica, the six of them. Uh, Foxy, Mangle, which is a female version of Foxy, pink. Yeah, and why did I do that? Because I saw a um, hour and twenty one minute movie that was all based upon um, it was actually really, really well made. Uh it was just a per this is um it's like Minecraft production or something. They made this really amazing movie. It's actually it was a it basically finance of Freddy's but from the from the animatronics perspective. Um the second I I'm pretty sure it was it was the Friday of Freddy's two from the from the uh Animatronics perspective, it was really well animated. Like they all acted just like the game, like like they would in the game. Everything actually was really good. The animation was amazing. Okay. You should check it. It's really really good. Um, so there's a scene where um, where Foxy and Mangle actually kiss. Well, I don't know how they would kiss if they're animatronics, but they're like they're like their mouths like touched. It was really confusing. I don't know how that works, but. If you're an, if you're, if you're, it's basically it's animal kissing, <laughs> animatronic animal kissing. I don't know how that hey, works. I don't know how that works, but it does, and that's just I don't know. It's it's, it's robots. Robots kissing. Yeah, Imagine that. Answer. But anyway, so they're obviously like a thin because uh, Foxy is a because Mangle is basically a female version of Foxy. Um, cancer. Or the new and improved Foxy or something like that. Um, that animatronic kitchen thing, that's pretty much every <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's Demon Tart picture. There's actually a scene in the, in the movie where, um, where... Video. In the, in the video, sorry, the video. It's not oh, really a movie. movie, it's not much of a movie, it's just like, it's just like an hour and a half, and 20 minutes of like... Wait, what? It's like an hour and 21, 21 minutes of like, uh, animatronic, um, animation, really. With, with, with like, you know, really, 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 really made an animatronic that looks really good. Um... But the, the mangle is basically the a, a, in the uh, early stages of the of the uh, video. It's like this this kind of like parts parts are missing and stuff like that. And there's a scene where they actually put the put it put her back together. Um, and she's like all new and everything. And she's like a she's like a pink heart on her chest or something. And they can that she's female, which is weird because. Chica is the only one, and actually, in the second game, they um, so you know how in the first game Chica is supposed to be a fe it's supposed to be a girl, 
but she doesn't look like a girl. She looks like a guy. Um, in the first game, how? So in the second game, they they fixed that with um, Chica looking more feminine. Um, how by that they made her look because they made they made all three versions of the newer versions of the animatronics. Would you stop that? <laughs> Foxy X Mangle. Oh no. no. Uh, but they made they made all three of the newer versions of the of the uh, main characters of Final Fantasy Freddy's all um, like kid friendly because in the in, the, in one of the phone guy calls um, he says that he made that they they made new they made uh, new improved versions of the of the char of the uh, main characters to make them more kid friendly because the original character designs looked kind of menacing and everything and kind of you know scary according to the other kids. Um, but uh so because Chica was Chica which is a which is female which is a cuz he put yeah. cuz chick is is a girl but in this tense it's a chicken uh and I'm putting an a at the end and it's female but she but the, uh Chica didn't look very very girly so they uh, they uh, made her kind of more kid friendly with like like all three of the characters have like pink cheeks or something like that and they kind of look quote, kid-friendly, more kid-friendly, I guess, is the way to go about it. Um, and so, they made, they, they made her slimmer, and they made her look kind of, I mean, I, I guess it's, it's a way of saying it, is they, they made her, because they, they made her chest more kind of, like, slopey, <laughs> if you think about it, so, she doesn't really have boobs, but it's like, it's kind of like that, it's like, I mean, I, you can't really make the done to that, I'm in to look like that, but they, they kind of make her chest kind of like, Kind of like a slope, so it's like it's like whoosh, like that, or like it's yeah. like it's like whoosh, I can't even I can't even describe it. It's really hard to describe. I mean, it's really hard to design a, 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 a character to be more feminine. I don't know how he did it, but he it obviously works because he does look yeah. more feminine. But um, anyway, so she she actually looks more, looks more feminine, um, and so the characters that actually look. Um, Worse than they did in the first one are the original models of the characters because in the one of the one of the nights uh, for the phone guy um, and but yes the, phone, the I've researched it and phone guy is after literally that is that is what Scott Cawthon calls the character literally phone guy he's, he has no actual name <laughs> um, yeah. but he he says that uh, you see the the old the, so the older models in the background yeah we 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 kind of use them for parts now. But it, but if you do see them actively during the night, just just the just the the Freddy head should work on that. And actually, in this game, since you since you don't have any doors at all, you you have two vents. You have a big a big screen that actually actually in the um, animation video that I saw, it actually is a big, one big hall, like a like a, a door frame in a hall. Um, and since also in my opinion, this game is actually more creepy than the second than the first game. Uh, but you have no doors, and the only protect, the only protection against the animatronics you have is a Freddy mask. Uh, yeah. Because that's how you do it. You just put on a Freddy mask, and the guy, the phone guy yeah. says, "Here's a solution for that. It's a Freddy Fazbear um, mask. Just, you can put as long as I'll take. Um, you can put on as, for as long as you want, and never and and uh, it's all your problem like that. But I mean, the problem is it doesn't work on Foxy because Foxy has more brains, I guess, than the other the guys. So they're like he he's like you don't film me, rawr. Um, but it does work. It does work pretty well. Um, yeah, I get it. And so you'll have that, but then you'll have uh, all these char all these old characters come out at you. Um, and so because the original models they look they look different. I mean, Friday kind of looks the same. Bonnie looks well, it's the same with that. I don't know. I mean, her her. Uh, I'm sorry. His. I'm guessing as a boy. His face is all torn off because I'm. I guess again, there's a theory that that he's responsible for the bite of '87. Probably not actually the reason, but I'm gu I'm just guessing it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's that part. That part of it. Um, he look. He looks. More, he looks really terrifying. Yeah. Because there's a point in the game where I, I saw uh, Markiplier do a do a left on it, and he's like, "Okay, I'm safe because he has a Freddy mask on." He's a, he's a bunny. He's like he said, Bonnie. He's like, oh crap. Well, I'm put my, better put the uh, mask on. He's like, okay, I should be good. And then you have Bonnie, like you know, go like this, like that. It's like and then, oh, so like X Men, cool. <laughs> no, like 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 that. 
And the, uh, and the and the scream looks the scream is actually more terrifying in they actually changed the scream to be more terrifying in the first game. Because in the first game it's like the, I can't even I can't do the scream because I'm not a voice actor. In terms of, in terms of like that, that kind of acting, I'm not a voice actor. But I, mean, I, 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 can, I, do, I can do pretty well with voice acting, just not that way. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. I can't do it. I can't do a screen like that. Yeah, I'm neither, so not really. But you should, you'd, 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 uh, if you've played Final Fantasy Freddy's 2, you'd know what I'm talking about. If you're, yeah. if you don't know what I'm ta talking about, then play Final Fantasy Freddy's because it's a good game, uh, series. Um, I would not recommend playing it at night, though, because, um, it's a, it, it, it takes place during the night, and so that would probably be a bad idea. Um, but, anyway, so yeah, there's a <laughs> lot of things in the game that was really good. The, the, I think the, 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 the good part about it was that it's it's just so creepy. Like, the entire game is creepy. When you look at the cameras, you hear this, uh, this creepy music. Did you think that was creepy? Read a creepy pasta, like one of the really good ones. Oh, yeah, I, I heard about those. Those are, those are in, intense. Oh, yeah. But, uh... Oh, yeah, Tom? Yeah? You do know that every animatronic... There is Rule 34, you know, porn. Oh, I know, I know, I know that part. And they... And, and you gotta remember, these are... Kids. Dead kids who were murdered. I know that. that, that, that that's the, so that, that makes the Rule 34 a pedophile. That's stuff. the creepy part of the game, is that... The whole missing... The porn? The, the, <laughs> no, no, no. No, The creepy part of the game is that the whole missing child thing. That's really creepy. So yeah, that, that's the creepy part of the game series, is, or the, at least the second game, is that the whole missing, I think it's actually part covered in the first game too, the whole missing child, the five missing kids, that was creepy, because I think the reason, I, I think it's either Marionette or Golden Friday that lures them away, and that's what happens to the missing kids, is that, is that there's, a, there's a, there's a little, going back to the first game, first game briefly, there's a little, there's a little message in one of the halls that you can read, I had them, yeah, when, you, when you zoom on it, it says, uh, it says, sub, something happened in so-and-so that, um, where, um, a man dressed in a fursuit or, or whatever, um, lured five kids back into a back room and, and their bodies never found it. That's the creepy part of the, uh, the game. I mean, it doesn't make me want to play anymore, it's just really creepy. Uh, but, anyway, so yeah, there's, uh, there's that, but there's, there's also, uh, uh, there's a so I think I named all almost all of them. There's eleven. So there's there's old there's those there's six in, there's there's six for each of the 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 old characters and the new characters. That six and the uh, Mangle Freddy or Mazar and Mangle uh, Foxy. That's that's uh, seven eight Bloom Boy, which is actually one of my actually Bloom Boy is one of the creepiest characters they've ever invented. Yeah, because he he says hello. And in the third game, he says, "Hi." <laughs> that is the creepiest part of the game. Bloom Boy, the little the little animatronic with the, the balloon and the sign of the balloon. That's Bloom Boy. Yeah. And he says, "So he, his catchphrase is, hello." <laughs> that is the word, is the creepiest catchphrase. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And then he said, and then uh, and then he starts laughing. He's like, "Hey, hey." He, I mean, his laugh is just creepy because it's like this little. Kids giggle. It's like really creepy. And then the the problem with with, with Blue Boy is whenever he's whenever he's nearby or he's in your in your office, that that is the moment when you're like, oh my gosh, the Marion is gonna come by and kill me because you know it's gonna happen. It's the most part. Of the, that's, it's one part of the game that just creeps me out. Is the Marionette. I mean, Blue Boy is the creepy part of the game. It really is. It's just like one part of the game that I just hate. I mean. I like Fight Nights and Freddy's. I'm not obsessed with it, I wouldn't say, but it's definitely creepy. Um, so, the Bloom Boy is the, uh, the ninth one. Um, so that there's, I mean, sure, I keep losing kind of the, uh, the characters they've introduced. So, six include, six of them including, um, all, all the new characters. Foxy is number seven. Mangle is number eight. Yeah. Bloom Boy is number nine. Marionette. Which is in the in the game is actually just called Puppet, but everyone knows, but but apparently Scott Cobb has revealed that it's uh it's called Marionette because it looks because like, it is a Marionette um, character. Uh, that's number ten, and then number eleven is actually Golden Freddy. Yeah, Golden Freddy does make does make does make the appearance in this game too. Um, it's the same character I think. It's the same um, version of Golden Freddy, 
But Golden Freddy, if people don't know who Golden Freddy is, he's actually he's basically a a kind of a ghostly version of Freddy, but golden. He basically go Freddy except without 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 eyes, and he's kind of like he's kind of limp. So when he appears yeah. in your office in the first game, he like he's like he's like, and, yeah. and then the next thing you know, you have this this huge disembodied head going, <laughs> and then you and then your game crashes. Yeah. That's how it works. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, he's a, he's a basically a, a, a demented version of of Freddy, Fredbear without eyes and um and he's, he's like a ghost. He's, or he's something? a ghost. He's he's a golden he's a yellow slash gold version of Freddy with no eyes and fl and uh why why and why why is there a need for something like I that? I don't know. I don't. I really don't is know. Is he like a ghost or something? That's why I said he's a ghost. He's a ghost. He's a, he's a demented. He's like a demon version of Freddy. Hence the reason they call him Golden Freddy. Demented. Not, um, oh, they're, they're all dem demons. So yeah, that, that, that makes a total of, ele of 11 different animatronics. I mean, I just found it really creepy that they had all these, all these, uh, animatronics in them. They're just, they're, they're just really, really creepy. Um, but, the, the, there's, there's a, there's a new mechanic, there's a new mechanic in the, in the second game that is, uh, that is the, mu the wine music box. Do you know about that? The what? The wine music box. Okay. What? You're tired, I imagine. I know, I'm tired. Um, I have to get up really early. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the, uh, the wind up music box is a mechanic in the in the second game where you have to keep it wound up, um, and that only, that, that actually keeps one mechanic away from you. But if you don't, if, I think the one mechanic that you can keep away from you is either, is, uh, is, I think it's Mar Marinette is the one character that, that if you if you don't keep the the music box wound up constantly, um, it will come out of you and um, and and uh, jump scare you. Mm, great. Um, which is pleasant. Yeah, I know that's that's very nice. Um, I mean, it's, it's 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 really one of those difficult things because you have the Freddy mask and that's the only thing that protects you, and then you have the, the um, wind up music box, and, have, and then and then the, the part of the of the game oh! that just Kind of disturbing and just kind of made, I mean not only really disturbing but like just kind of creepy in that sense is um, the different camera angles that you can see they're just creepy they're just really intensely creepy like all oh yeah because of this totally well yeah this is totally creepy wait the heck, stop now that's creepy if you don't if you're just gonna look at at, at fan art from Friends of Freddy's then then this is not gonna be how it works uh. So anyway, uh, what do you think of what do you think of the of the second game? What? What do you think of the second game? The what game? The second game. The Teddy game. The second game. I've never played it. Final Fantasy Freddy's Two. Have you seen? Let's I know play what it? you're talking about, but I've never played it. So all I know <laughs> is that the fan base is extremely cancerous. So. Have, you, have you played the? Have you seen? Have you seen game? Have you seen Let's Plays? Um. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, What do you think of them? Okay. I don't know. I've never played them, dude. Come on. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. Uh, so yeah, sec okay, that's all I can. I mean, that's really all I can think of. The second game. The second game is is darn creepy. It is like it is the creepiest game of the of the uh, of the four that he's made. Um, now on to the third game. So this is actually a more terrifying game than the second one, but not as. But, but I think this, I still think the second game is creepy. So you have so the second game. Uh, the third game starts out with uh, with. Spring Trap's face on the main menu, and then you just have FNAF 3. So, I guess Scott Coughlin was lazy enough to not put in the full Fight of the Freddy's game, um, name Fight of the Freddy's 3. He just put FNAF 3, which is okay, I guess it's good enough. Uh, then has introduces a character called Spring Trap, yep. which, uh, which, uh, is a one of the hallucinations that you see that you see in the in the hallucin well, like when you when you hallucinate in the game that's what you that's what you see. Uh, and then so you have the same you have a the the, the phone guy is actually a different guy cuz you can tell by his casual voice. Um, and and so the set, the third game is a uh, I think it's it's I think it's supposed to be said either earlier or later in the timeline of Friends of Freddy's. Yeah, uh, it takes place after. Yeah. Because he's like, look at these old cassettes, dude. <laughs> like, I found these old cassettes. He's like, look at these old cassettes, dude. They're they're like they're like so authentic. 
He's not like a servant dude. He's like, he's like, it's a casual man, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so you can tell it takes place after because it, because you know he talks about cassettes and stuff like they're. Look at these the all these bitches cassettes. They're, they're like they're like so awesome, dude. And then at one, of, and then one of the nights he says like, and you're not gonna believe it, man. We found one, a real one. Oh, yeah. I gotta go, man. Bye. Or something like that. I mean, that's that's where he's like, it's like, he's like gonna, he's in a hurry or something. Uh, but the third game is set in a and di- it's set in a. Uh, Different place. It's not say in, in a restaurant anymore. Um, well, it takes place in like a haunted. Like it's a supposed to be based. It's supposed ride. to be. It's supposed to be based off of the uh, Freddy Fazbear Pizza restaurant, but it is not a restaurant. It's it's supposed to. Be, it's supposed to take. Uh, it's supposed to be based off of it, but it's not exactly the same. It's a um, haunted house ride or something. Yeah, so it's called Freddy. Uh, it's called Fazbear's Horror Attraction, something like that. Um, and it's supposed to be a, uh, like, like the name says, just a horror attraction, um, and you have to, in the game, how it plays is you are a, I guess, a new security guard, Do you, and you have to, uh, survive five nights, um, at this place, um, where you can test the game, yeah, basically testing it, because in the, in the phone calls, the, um, the guy says, uh, you have to make sure, yeah, yeah, so, so your, your job is to, Test out is to make sure everything works and nothing gets set on fire, that kind of stuff. Um, and then you get, um, so the, and actually, because um, each game um, in the series is, is at a different place, so you get, you get a new office. And um, and the office you're in is different. You get um, a door open. You get um, three of the original animatronic characters miniaturized and on your desk. And then uh, you get a big like. Trash bag or trash can or something like something like that. Something like that. that has a uh, Bonnie's Bonnie's um, triangular shaped guitar and a whole bunch of masks and everything like that. And then in the hallway you get um, a Freddy mask. You have all these other things. And then um, and then you have a vent- you have a ventilation shaft. You have a a little system. You have a system that has a ventilation um, a ventilation system, an audio system, and a video system. And then you have a camera, of course, and my and the actually the sound that you have for when you op- when you begin uh, when begin a, a single night is like it's really creepy. It's just like it's 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 like really really creepy. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um. And the cameras are even worse because the static is just ridiculous. And and when you uh and I like like the guy who does in the third game, um you uh you have to. Watch the ventilation shaft, or the not shaft, the ventilation, and make sure that uh, you don't uh, see hallucinations. Because if you don't, if you don't keep the ventilation shaft going, or the, the ventilation shaft, the ventilation going, then you have to, uh, well, not have to. You, you will see um, hallucinations of an animatronic such as Bloom Boy, and um, and I think it's Springtrap, which is the new one. Um, but I don't, I mean, I don't think you actually see any of the old ones. I mean, I think I have, but I don't remember. You see hallucinations of them. Yeah, you don't actually die. You just see, the, I mean, when they come out, they're like, they're like, whoosh, and then you're like, whoosh, like that. You start breathing heavily, and then you, you turn up to, because apparently you're, you're, you're really scared or something like that. Um, and then, uh, because Bloom Boy is the one who actually, like, if you see it on the camera, you'll, go, you'll turn the camera out, and then you'll, and it'll, it'll jump scare you. But that's about it. You don't really see anything else. So the Bloom Bloom Boy isn't really there. And that, it's actually a, a demented version of Bloom Boy, but he's still Bloom Boy, but he's a different version of Bloom Boy. Or I wouldn't really say version, but like a different. He looks different, and he's one of the hallucinations you see in um, the game. So um, it's just over overall. It's just a really creepy game. In the and in, in several of these things, you can see like eyes. You can see like a, a Freddy Fazbear uh, a, a suit or something that, that you can see like one eye is glowing and one eye is not. It's really creepy. Uh, and there's actually parts of the game where uh, uh, where uh, where uh, you can see like a a, a, a Freddy Fazbear. Yeah, actually, I, th- I believe Freddy Fazbear is a, yeah, a version of Freddy Fazbear is actually in the game because you can see it walking around, and that is just. Alarmingly creepy. That just ugh, it is so creepy. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so, 
Yeah, it is It is by far, I mean, it wouldn't be the creepiest game, but it definitely is a creepy game. Uh, actually, the, the, uh, there's a theory going around for the, from the first game that um, the phone guy actually faked, could have faked his death. You what? There's, there's a theory going around, um, or I have a theory that... Uh, oh, he that, faked his death. Yeah, but I don't understand that theory. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how, how could that even be true? Like, that doesn't make any... It really doesn't make any sense. But... It does bring up a good point. Like, could he have faked his death? Like, because he said he goes he he heard the the moan and then he heard the the own oh, and he heard that hear the oh no and then he, and then he heard static and that's it. Uh, but it is pretty cool. Um, uh, but there's not much. Real, I mean, I mean, spring, there's also the theory. I mean, like I said earlier, um, in this podcast, the fact that Spring Child could be the one responsible for the bite of eighty seven. Simply because in one of the teaser images for on um, the web page and like that, what he said, where it says "I'm still here," you can see it's a little closer, but you can see a little, little uh, trickles of blood on his uh, teeth, and that could indicate that he might have been that that it it slash he might have been the reason for the bio eighty seven. I have no idea, but it's a really interesting theory. Um, and well, so, yeah. why don't we ask Scott? Whatever. I mean, he's we can't just do that. I actually, there's, there's a thing about the fact that he couldn't even, like the the, the guy that I told that I uh, that actually I, I had to tell you about this uh, real quick. So there's a speculation, there's theory and speculation that that uh, about about if Freddy Fazbear's Pizza could actually be real. Huh? Um, yeah. All right. So uh, anyway, uh, the theory is that uh, there's actually a restaurant. Um, that was closed down, and it was based. I was actually based off of um, the restaurant called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Um, however, it has been proven false because the image that that you actually can look on all on image of the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and the restaurant is actually a Photoshop. The the sign is actually a photoshopped sign that um, the original like Papa's or whatever pizza. I can't even remember. Um, but it, but. Someone photoshopped over a sign that just that that um, since Freddy Fazbear's like Pizza, it isn't actually real, but it is a pretty cool thing. Um, there's a lot of things like there's, a, there's a, yeah that that's actually a Photoshop that's actually Photoshop. There's actually a um, yeah you can kind of yeah. tell if you look at the sign right here you can see a little bit of the sign is cropped out. Yeah, exactly. Um. So yeah, the guy, the guy, because the guy went went went. Cause this is the guy. This is a video I saw where a guy um got a question about um if Freddy Fazbear's Pizza could actually be real, and he, um at the end of the video it was confirmed fake because not just because of, uh, not just because of the Photoshop, but also there was a there was, a, there was an ad where where this guy who um introduced himself as Freddy Fazbear. Yep, it's actually Papa Pizza Parlor. Yeah, I know. Um. Because this, this is an old man that uh in a kind of a kind of a, a get up. It's like a fancy suit, fancy like carnival suit, I guess. Um, he introduced himself as Freddy Fazbear and like says come on down to Freddy Fazbear Pizza, and it was like a 1980s ad. Um, and it even they even featured uh Freddy. I think I see a, I saw Bonnie in the ad, and also, also Chica, and they were, they were actually animatronics. Um. I mean, clearly it's not real, but it could. I mean, I know it can't happen because it's not, there's no reason why it would be real. But it's pretty cool theory that that could have happened. Um, generally, I mean, clearly, um, Brandon's House for Pizza is not actually a real place because um, it's proven that, there, that there's no actual location called Freddy Fazbear Pizza anywhere on Earth at all. It's it's completely 100 percent a hoax. What about this place? Again, it's a hoax. Apparently that was abandoned in 1998. That's probably photoshopped. Well, what is it? Well, what is it? Yeah, I think it was photoshopped. What can I see? I think yeah. it was photoshopped, but you know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it used to be an old store or something. Yeah, that that, that it doesn't seem likely at all. Yeah, it doesn't look like a restaurant. It doesn't look like all likely to all be an AFL restaurant. Yeah, it doesn't look like it even used to be a restaurant. It looks like it just used to be like some sort of hardware store or something. It does seem like that. Um, by the way, listeners, if you're wondering what's happening, just go to search Freddy Fazbear Pizza, and there should be a parking lot with a faded ver- with a faded sign that says Freddy Fazbear Pizza. Just look it up. Um, but 
it was really interesting. I mean, the third game itself is it's pretty intense. Um, there's the whole thing about um, the five missing children, about who could be responsible for it, um, and it, it's like the body of was actually planned, all this stuff like that. Um, it's definitely a creepy ass game. <laughs> um, but I mean, there's, there's a lot about it that uh, that that uh, can be that needs saying. Uh, and then, then the uh, fourth game came out called Five Nights at Freddy's Four, um, and this is actually the first time that, that um, the game is not set in a, in a, in a restaurant or, or a thing anything based at a restaurant like the, 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 the third game was. Um, and if you take the role of a kid who's in his house is in their house, it is by far one, one of the in my opinion, um, the scariest version of the game to feature the animatronics. Like, the scariest version of the animatronics. Um, because they have, like, four rows of teeth or something like that. They're, like, big, long teeth, and they're just, like, crazy. Um, so how the game works is, uh, you're a kid, and you can go to one door or the other, and you can look, and you can open it, and you can see if anything's there. Um, you go to the closet to see if there's anything there. You, sometimes there's there's a little mechanical version of Freddy that's all like withered and everything. And then uh, you can look behind you, and sometimes there's, there's a little there's a little uh, little miniature Freddy that's all like a plush doll or something like that. But sometimes if you look behind it, you'll see a you'll see the same thing, but it's all like a animatronic, and it's like all like withered and it's like it's like <laughs> like that. You can hear it. You can hear it like it's really creepy actually. And sometimes, and, and sometimes, if you look out um, one of the doors, you can see one of the characters um, kind of like look, look, look quickly, look away, as if you've seen him. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you'll get unlucky, and they'll um, hop out and they'll go <laughs> like that. I can't, I can't, like I said before, I can't really do the um, roar, but it's pretty close to that. Um, so yeah, um, and there's also a, a part of the game where you can actually. Um, where you can actually, you're you're in a hallway and you're in a, you can see. I think it's it's a it's like a miniature version of Springtrap, and you can like it's a thing where you have to like uh you have to I think press a certain button or something and it'll. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm looking at pictures of the thing. I'm looking for stuff. Whatever. Okay. Um. Uh, so there's a, a thing, a thing um, where you have to let it's like, it's like a timer or something. You have to press a certain button, and it's, it's usually, it doesn't usually work. Um, yeah. And then you die or something like that. Uh, but for the fourth one game is a pretty, um, it's a pretty creepy game. It's just, it's pretty terrifying. Uh, and, then, and then after that came um, the uh, the fan game, or no, the final fan game, the uh, the. RPG, which is a basically it's supposed to be a uh, a cuter version of Friends and Freddy's. It's called FNAF World, um, and it's supposed to be like a cute, a, cute, a cute version of it. I haven't played it. I don't even know how to. I don't even know how it would. Yeah. But it does look pretty interesting. It's like an RPG where you can fight using each of the animatronics. Um, and then there's the uh, the movie that they're make that uh, they're making based off the game off of the game, and there's a. Uh, They've actually made, um, there's, piss and pic there's a pictures ab about that, and it's like all, I mean, the animatronic characters that they, they have are, look pretty cool. Um, they look really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, they, have, they have, like, an endoskeleton they've made, and they have this, oh, they don't actually have any animatronics they've built, but they do have, like, endoskeletons they've made. They look really, really cool, so. Uh, but anyways, that's the, the movie is coming, I think, 20. 18 or something like that, so a couple years, but it does look like a fun ga um, game. And, and then the newest game that Scott Coughlin has announced, and these were uh, this coming, this coming, I want to say, actually I don't even know when it's coming. It's, it's coming soon, I, I think. It's called a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Fisher Location. It's supposed, it's it's a it's not actually yeah. in the same franchise. I think it's supposed to be a spinoff of Five Nights at Freddy's, but it's in the sa it's within the same universe as Five Nights at Freddy's. I think. Um, and it's supposed to be a different location than the first game. Um, new animatronics and a really rather creepy version of a creepy. I said version, creepy animatronic called Baby, which is a basic, which is really just ugh, it's it's 
terrifying. Um, but they have, but they have all this this new um, characters or the new new versions of the characters. They have like all they're all colored and everything. You got each of the main characters. I think, I think you got a uh, you got Freddy who ha I think is who I think is holding a miniature Bonnie. You have you have a uh, you have Freddy you have Foxy. You have a couple more. I haven't really, I don't really know what they are, but they're really cool. What's really, what's new about this game is they uh, at least the stuff I've seen in it is they have uh. They have little voice boxes on their chest. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've seen that part? I've seen. Yeah. yeah. What do you What do you think of that? What What do you think they could be? They think they they could actually be because because they can. Pretty this is the talk, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it's interesting. I I hundred percent sure what I think about it. But anyway, so I'm guessing what's happening is um it's supposed to be like the the little box, little circle, the, the circles on their um, chest are supposed to be their actual voice boxes, where the, where the audio comes from. Yeah. Because as originally they, they did, they were voiced by by something, or at least they they made some a sound. Um, I'm guessing that's that's what it is. I mean, because in the first game, you could hear something. You could hear like, like Freddy made this like a this like uh, I'm guessing they can do it. It was like a like. <laughs> It's really creepy, and then and then he made it. This is a weird sound call. It's like it's like dum 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 dum. It was like really really. It's kind of like Irish ish. It's Irish ish uh, sound. It's like dum 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 dum. I don't even know. It was really weird. But the creepiest one is where he's laughing, kind of like this mechanical. Who's laugh. laughing? Freddy. Oh, okay. This mechanical laugh. Um, that uh, that he does. It's like it's like I I, I just said just now, but um, it's like. Uh, 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 uh. It's kind of like the Joker in a way, but not quite. Um, but that that that, that uh, that's why I mean that that's that's why this new games have these voice bo these circular voice boxes. They look really interesting. I mean I don't I don't know I don't really know what to say about it, but it does look really interesting. Um, but the but these games, I mean, this is actually the first game in the series to be underground. That's that's kind of what the, the, it's it's, a, it's supposed to be about. It's, it's underground, which is pretty yeah. cool. Um, but it's never happened before. Wait, they're doing one underground? Yeah, this such a loca such a location is supposed to is the first one's underground. Why is it underground? Because it's a different location. Why is it underground? I have no idea, but there must be some reason. Is it like it. a military base after, like a a uh, thing like a. Nuclear apocalypse or something? I have no idea, but um, there must be some reason behind it, because I'm really curious to find out about this game. And actually, I would be willing to play it. I, I would be willing to play it, because mm -hmm. there's some games where I don't really would, I'm not willing to play it all the time, but it does look like a, a good game. But, um... They're actually, making another one? That's what I said. Five Nights of Freddy's Assistant Location. It's supposed to be... A different location, but it's, I think it's supposed to be a, like a spin-off or something. Um, and some people are spe speculating that, that hopefully it could be Shit. his uh, last game. <laughs> Shit, what? They're, oh no. What? What's going on? Yep, they're making another one. He is making another one. No, they're, they're not, it's not them, it's he. Scott? Yeah. Oh boy. What do you expect? I'm making another one, oh boy. Yeah, I know they are. They are. Uh, there's actually a thing at the, in the on the fifth night of the first game. Just going back to the first game. Yeah. Uh, there's a, on the fifth night because the phone guy is apparently dead. Um, you have this weird noise. It's like it's like it's a mechanical demon, demonic voice, like oh zo zo zo. But it's actually if you uh, if you reverse it and you um, Play it really slow and high pitched. It's really creepy, like it's demonic and creepy, and it's just like, ugh. So yeah, cool. I mean, I've the thing of the first animatronics came um, were from like Chuck E. Cheese's and uh, and also the like I've seen some some 
from the old days, and they just look outright creepy. Um, I mean, Final Fantasy Freddy's is itself a good horror franchise. I don't usually like horror games, but it definitely is a good franchise. Um, but yeah, I liked it a lot, and I, I think it was, it did, I think, uh, I mean, I understand that it's, that it's, real, it's a long, uh, franchise, and it's only, what, four games in less, in, uh, like a year? But even then, it's 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 pretty cool that they that he's in this and they 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 are pretty good games. Um, and the history of the animatronics are just, are, are really amazing because, um, like I think the earliest ones are from Trey Cheese's or I think the Country Bears, um, which is the animatronic group. Um, those are actually really creepy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, they're, I, I'm actually kind of looking forward to this new movie. And I hope it will do well, and that's really all I can say. For that. Um, so anyway, what do, what do you I think? Hope. What do you think? It's good. It's um, good. Make another one. Um, everyone is past the Five Nights at Freddy's thing now, so. Not everyone. Not everyone's played it. Pretty much everyone's over it now. Yes. They're, 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 yeah. Everyone's pretty much done with them. Everyone's moved on to other games and stuff. It's just not really a thing anymore. I mean, I wouldn't say it's cr it's scary because the first the first game was like the scariest game of 2014. Yeah, um, no, it is not scary. I mean, it's cr definitely creepy, but it's not scary. It's an extremely overrated. Uh, it's a creepy. Yeah. It's very creepy, but it's not. That scary. has, which sadly has become cancer because of its fan base. Yeah, it can't. It, it's the fan base that destroyed it, for the most part. So yeah, it's, it's a good. It's a good uh, franchise, but I wouldn't say it's the best franchise ever. The best PC game game um, franchise, no, but it's definitely awesome. Mm, I've never played it. So. I've played the first one, but that's about it. Wow, and I've seen a lot, a lot, a lot of Let's Plays, and and it's, I mean, the reaction of YouTubers is just so funny. I've not played any of them. I've actually seen um, a video where it was Elvis playing, playing the game, <laughs> and some of them were like confused about how to play, and and what, there was one like I think it's like this Mexican guy or something. He was he had this really interesting accent, um, and he is he is like. On the first game, he's like, I don't know what to play. I, I don't. It's this confusing game. I don't know what what to do with it. There's no point in this. There's no point in this game. It's like you don't do you don't, you don't do anything. <laughs> and the second game was even worse because he was on he was on a uh, was one room and he was still on the room. He wouldn't go away and he's just like <laughs> it was just funny. Huh. But anyway, so is that all you think it's the, you can they say about the game franchise? What? Is that all you can say? I've never played any of them. I've heard some of the theories. Like what? What theories? YouTube channel. What theories? I forget exactly what they are, but it has something to do with purple guy and well, there's the a theory. kid being killed and then the the the, the, the punk guy being purple guy. I, I don't know. Right there, that's what you got. Right there, that, that's the that's the theory. The the phone guy is purple guy, but I don't really understand it. It doesn't make any sense because they have these mini games where you're trying to like. You get to get like stuff to things, and it's just it is so creepy. But anyway, yeah. So, yeah, have anything else? Anything else you want to talk? Yeah, and not talk about it. Anything else you want to add? Not, not really. I, I just um, I've never played them, so I don't really have a whole lot to say on the series. Okay, so is that all you can? Is that all you want to say? Sure. Sure. Okay, well, I think that that'll do it. Um, I'm sure that um, we'll continue talking about Five Nights at Freddy's until the game releases, um, just because it's a great franchise. Um, I think the, that this will. Con I, I'm sure that this podcast will continue at least another at least another episode or two. I want to keep talking about it um, until as long as we can. Um, and all the while, we are incredibly insane about it. Yes, we are. <laughs> yep. Like we are, because this is called the Madhouse, and we are mad. Not literally mad, but we are in. You, the, the point of this podcast is insane. Um, if you're wondering if this is going to end, it will not. I'm not planning on, on ending. 
Um, also, one thing about this podcast is I do not plan on making an audio video podcast. It will remain an audio podcast for... Um, honestly, I do not have plans to make a video podcast. I just plan for audio podcasts for the time being. If any people in my podcast uh, actually uh, decide they want to make it a video podcast, we can have like a special, but... For right now, it might be a. It, it could be a couple of years until we make a video podcast. So don't don't count on this being a, a video podcast. It'll just be an audio podcast. So um, another reason for that is because if some people on the podcast don't really want their face to be shown, so there's another reason for it. Um, some people don't really want their faces being shown like like this, a still image, but that's about it. Um, so yeah, I don't have plans for a video podcast like I said before. Uh, but I will. I'm continuing to make this podcast. I'm not going to end it, and I just because I love it so much. It's so fun to do this every week. Um, yeah. Totally. It's really a blast to do this podcast. Ever since I thought yeah. about doing a podcast on my own and hosting it. Um, yeah, it's great. It's nice. It's been awesome. So, yeah, thank, um, you. thank you for actually... Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Basically, th- thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to this podcast. For like, um, thank you for taking the time to listen to Tom rant on and on and on about yes. the NAF series. And of course, my uh, channel on YouTube is called Ultimate Five Three. However, if you would like to call me Tom, you can. A lot of people on this podcast call me Tom. Okay. On my channel, I've introduced. I've put myself as Tom. You can call me Steve. You can call me Steven. I don't care. You can call me that. I, no, you can I, call me Stevie Wonder, like one of my friends call me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I advertise myself as Ultimate Five Three. But if you but people on this podcast will talk, call me Tom. Or on other shows, my 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 uh my episodes my episodes are reviewed. I have a couple of those where I have guests where I have guest uh guest appearances by people along with some of my friends. So um yeah um anyway, I think that'll do it for this week's episode of uh, the Madhouse. Yep. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, if you did enjoy it, then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And also, um, if you uh, know about Steve Kovac, then please subscribe to this channel and uh, watch some of his content. He makes some pretty good content. I haven't seen a lot of his content lately, but some of the stuff he has recently out, like the YTPs, they're pretty funny and better than... I've never been able to do those... Pot- those, uh, those that would do- I can't do Yeah, I mean, all I use is literally to, um, uh, iMovie, and um, I use... and I take clips from online, like um, sound files and stuff like that from online. I convert them to... MP3, MP4s, and then, yeah. yeah. I mean, I honestly can't do that. And I've then I uh, basically use the other tools that I have on my system to create a poop. I just haven't made a video in a while because I've been really busy with other stuff. This is understandable. And also my computer's been having a lot of issues uh, for some reason. I mean, yeah. I'm actually waiting for the RAM. I'm, like, because it's having RAM issues right now, so I'm kind of waiting for... The, um, it to come. They yeah. said it would come sometime today or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, anyway, um, yeah. yeah. So, so make sure to uh, check out Steve Kovacs' channel. He makes some good content. Um, they get they get more views than me, unfortunately. But uh, yeah. Um, thank you for listening to this week's episode, and uh, yeah, thank we you. will see you quote that. I will see, see you, you next you. time. Later. For the next episode. All right. <laughs> Bye. After la vista. <laughs>